Hello and welcome back to How It's Done TV. Today we have a special treat for you. We are at the new location for Brush Tips and we have Sherry, the owner, uh, with us here today. And we also have Abby. How are you guys doing? Good. We are doing good. So tell me a little bit about yourselves um, and how you both came about working together. So, um, like you said, my name is Sherry, and uh, I started Brush Tips. Gosh, how like we're going on five years? Yes, five. like five years um, ago, and I knew Abby from previous things, and um, I started just out of a little bucket, a little plastic bucket of paint and some canvases out of my garage uh, at a campground, and I was like, okay, I can do this. And Abby was like, hey, I can help do some classes if you ever need me or whatever. So I'd shoot her a message, hey, I need you. You want to come help? Hey, you know, you want to come do this with me or whatever? Um, and so she jumped on board with me. So here she is. And it's just been uphill since then, right? It really has been. It hasn't <laughs> stopped. It hasn't stopped. Now, we're at the new location, but I want to back up a little bit um, and talk about COVID. I noticed that um, out of a lot of the small businesses, you guys are very innovative to stay open, and it seems like that really did help you. Yeah, so when COVID hit, Abby was still kind of just helping me out here and there. She wasn't fully on board as, you know, my partnering manager until uh, July of 2020, but she was still there hanging out, helping me out and stuff. Um, when COVID hit, I panicked, of course, and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do to get money to keep my business open? Um, so I had to start brainstorming and thinking outside of the box. So instantly I was like, okay, I'll just sell paint kits. Then I'll go Facebook Live and I will paint for free. People can watch. They can, if they choose to buy my paint kits or they paint wherever, we don't care. We just want to spread happiness and give people something to look forward to. So I started doing that. Um, and Abby had a previous job before that. So... COVID kind of hit your job kind of weird too yeah, so. and kind of affected you. Yeah. So um, we just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And then my husband lost his job and I was like, let's move. Let's move to Florida. Um, this location here was still, you know, just making it, paying for itself. And I said, I think we can do it. I think we could leave this place open and, you know, we got to get somebody in here that can help us and, and do it do what I would do um, and Abby approached me and was like hey I'll do it mm -hmm. and I was like yeah she said I see the vision I see you know where you want to go with this and I'm on board and I was like that's a big big yeah. ask Abby that's a big ask yeah, like I'm nervous for you she was. <laughs> like I get goosebumps <laughs> thinking about it now like, you expanded down in Florida and where in Florida are you and, and what prompted you to open up another brush tips down yeah. there so um we are in tarpon springs florida and i know that this is where i'm supposed to be i know that opening up art studios and showing people love through art is what we are supposed to do you know this really has nothing to do with the fact that people come in and they pay to do classes a lot of this is us encouraging people to think outside the box and i knew even if I moved to England, I would open up our brush tips because I know that that's what our goal is. And we have a paint subscription box and, and that's our goal through that too, is just to touch people through art and to give people a voice even if they've never created before. So we both have that same mission and our same understanding and we just plan to keep expanding and getting the right people into to each location that we do plan on opening so now i know before uh COVID hit and also before you moved here you also did um different painting things for the community um you went to a juvenile center to paint yeah abby and i actually both go yeah, to the detention center now yeah she um, um, does it virtually from florida 
and then I was doing it most of last year and then I'm doing it again this summer just because they're having some staffing issues. So during the school, it's a little trying for them to kind of make sure that they can have all the normal programs. So that's a little something that I kind of want to put out there too, hopefully can get them some more support because it's, it's really important to those kids to have some sort of outlet, especially with the creativity and the one-on-one -on -one that we can provide for them. Now exactly where is this at? The Medina County Juvenile Detention Center. Okay. And, and the program that helps fund us too is the nonprofit, which is Access the Arts in okay. Wadsworth. Okay. Um, and Jane, uh, Jane Back. Back and started that yeah. and brought and us on board. That's really been a, a big outlet to the whole community just being able to provide supplies provide classes music not just music and not just in the arts it's uh right. creative writing all of that it has to be a really good therapy for these kids that are in there because you assume that once you go in there that's all that there is but to give them an outlet especially in art to express themselves mm -hmm. is really amazing now when we got through covid you moved down to Florida and you took over. How was that for you? So like Sherry <laughs> said, I still did some classes here and there. Um, it was mostly behind the scenes where she'll ask me to help with some marketing and everything once in a while. So when she told me that she wanted some help and then I reached out, I'm like, hey, I would rather just take it on because I wasn't happy with my previous job and it just gave me an opportunity to really get back into fine art because I am a designer by trade, but that's not who I am. <laughs> so being able to take on the studio and really kind of be that person that she needed me to be and for the community too, just to have that space. Now what type of art do you offer? What kind of uh, different programs do you have? Oh man, there are so many different programs. So we range from ages five and up. So it's, it's really a, a take all for everybody. Um, so we start off with the kids' classes. At the younger scale, we have a public schedule where we have weekly classes. The early evenings are for kids, and then the later evenings are geared towards adults. We have summer camps, um, and then as we range up into the adult classes, those are for the evenings, and then we offer more than just painting on campus. We do resin art, we do mosaic, we do porch cleaners. Um, yeah, wood painting. Wood painting. Mm -hmm. Lots of different different outlets. We're, we're always brainstorming and coming up with ideas on how to incorporate something or some different pattern um just to be creative yeah do you and notice drawing. that a, there's been a difference i feel like there's been a drive since covid if you see videos and TikTok, there's so much art yeah. out there and we're talking like the resin has been huge you know the pores all yeah. that mm -hmm. i do a ton of resin art and i love i love it like i can paint all day long but i love resin and it's, I don't know if it's, I love it because each time it comes out different mm -hmm. and then you actually have to let resin cure for, you know, 12 to 24 hours okay. before you can even touch it. So it's like the anticipation of seeing your art, <laughs> right, right? Right. I get so nervous. I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, but there's so many things you can do with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just want to resin it. I want to resin everything. She does. Um, Abby, she's, she's. I came, I'm like, you got to try this resin. I fell in love with it. I really did. So with Sherry being resin is her passion, pet portraits and one-on-one -on -one private lessons, that's, that's what I love to do. Yeah. Now, I know that you also will allow people to come to you and say, hey, I would like to have a party with my girlfriends or my family, um, and this is what we're looking to do. Yes. Yeah, we do um, group settings, and it doesn't have to be for a birthday party. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to be for, you know, any special event. There's people that will just get their neighborhood together and come in and just have a, a little community bonding time, whether it be with the kids or be with adults or whatever. Um, people are welcome to bring food and wine and snacks and stuff, which is huge. Um, 
because not a lot of places offer that. You know, people are saying, oh, well, you got to buy the food from us, and you have to buy the, you know, drinks and whatever. And um, we just, we want everyone to just be able to create, mm -hmm. bottom line. You know, and, and it's, that's our passion. I know when I come in, um, I've done a few regular classes, which was fun. Had the snacks, had the drinks, everybody sits around and talks, you know, how girls can get. And Abby's just doing her thing. But what's also really amazing is, is that um, you've done the pet ones, which is very dear to me because my oldest has cancer and I have the pictures at work. It was the most ingenious thing <laughs> with the doing the paw prints and the licking and it was a smaller space, but you made it work, which mm -hmm. is, is a testament to how you work well with people. Now, m my one question is, is there's all these different art places. What do you feel separates you from the rest? Um, our hearts, mm -hmm. our hearts. You know, we can have a million eyes, but if we don't capture people's hearts and we aren't true to ourselves and to them, then we're just another business. Then we're just another art studio. We're just another shop. We're just another person walking down the road. Our goal is to touch people mm -hmm. and let them know that they're loved and that they're valued and that they're cherished and that they always have a safe place to come, whether it's to create, to hang out and talk to us, to get advice, to um, just some people just come in and talk because they just need somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that that's what sets us aside from everybody is that everyone who walks in the door becomes part of our art family mm -hmm. and part of the Brush Tips family. So Now I know towards uh, the COVID, um, you were scared if, if you were going to be able to stay open and it was like a day-to-day -day thing. and but you started growing. And what prompted you to want to move? Um, to move to Florida? Or to move this location? <laughs> <laughs> a new location. Because I can tell you both reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we outgrew that space. We, we really outgrew did. that space um, spiritually, emotionally, physically. Like we just outgrew it, you know, and we, we needed a bigger space because we do have so much to offer and so much love to give and so much light. And our, you know, you can't you can't keep our little light inside a little tiny building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta bring it out. And I mean, people have walked in here, just unpacking. People have walked in here and they're like, oh my gosh, the energy, the light everything like this is the greatest place and i'm like i haven't even unpacked a box yet like give me a minute <laughs> it feels know? like when um before uh where the current rise and grind is how it was kind of darker in there and then when you walked in after it was remodeled you were just refreshed that's how i felt when i walked in here i was like it's so much airier it's bigger it's brighter right and now that you're here you are kind of now going to be more in the forefront of doing events for downtown. So uh, tell me a little bit about like what you like to do with the community for events. Well, I've got lots of ideas. Yes. So. <laughs> so this definitely gives us an opportunity to be more involved at downtown and not just within the community as a whole, but directly during these events. And we plan to definitely have activities every uh, first Friday event, all the specials for our Merchants Coalition. So any sort of downtown event, we're most likely going to be a participant in and really try to have some of the paid activities we normally offer, but also free activities for those that just want to be able to come in, create, see the space, and still enjoy themselves. That's wonderful. Um, small businesses downtown brings more people down here but i think it, it means a lot that the businesses so much give back to the community and educate the community and i know that you guys have really done it because i you watch through social media you, you've seen you grow it is amazing and one of the things that i think that is very unique and special about you guys um is the fact that you work with other businesses to pair together. While there's so much competition out there, it's also nice to see you guys work with other businesses. Um, could you talk about the ones that you've been working with? Well, 
that's another part too that that sets us aside is like nobody's competition to us because we know what we bring to the table for people and it has nothing to do with other businesses like it comes from our hearts so that's why we pair with other businesses and that's why we promote other businesses because if we're blessed we can bless them mm -hmm. if we succeed we can help them succeed and Abby is amazing at graphic design. She does all of our graphic designing. She does great web page building and stuff like that. And she's always quick to give advice to people for that. And, you know, she's, she's helped out so many businesses, just, you know, quick little things. Even down in Florida, people, you know, they talk to her and, they don't even know her and they're like can we just have Abby do it and I'm like sure I guess <laughs> stop trying to take my Abby <laughs> um, so that's you know that's a huge huge thing is just the importance of showing community love and support to other businesses because at any time it can change for any one of us you know now I know that you guys have done some cute stuff like painting with goats um, you guys have done henna art You've paired with uh, yoga and smoothies. What do you guys hope to for the future of brush tips looking forward? Well, I think just keep growing and expanding yeah. and and showing people love mm -hmm. and and artistic abilities through even if it's just coming in and coloring a piece of paper. We went through like 350 little coloring papers at the blue tip parade or fair the other day and it's like that's 350 people that got to create mm -hmm. even if they were little kids like they got to color maybe they've never colored chances are they have <laughs> but <laughs> you know that's that's our importance is to just keep growing through the community and through the art community and just showing people that you know now you guys have a Facebook page mm -hmm. um, that you post uh, the different classes that you're going to be doing. You also have a website. Now, do they sign up through that website? Do can they get a, a a newsletter? How does that work? So right now we have a weekly newsletter that does project the current week's public classes, and then we also list upcoming special events such as painting the goats or yoga summer camps, any special announcements that we may have that's going on in or outside of the studio. We also have our current website that is both locations and that's standing and we can accept private bookings on there. We do public bookings on there. It has all of our information about the studio. Um, we are working on a new booking system right now that will be launching in August. So super fast approaching. <laughs> We're excited. <laughs> and that's sort of the behind the scenes kind of stuff that we work on. It's not just what you see in the studio. We every week are working on building our classes, building our outreach, doing Facebook promotions, creating graphics for social media, communicating, networking with uh, other businesses yeah. within the community doing painting for a cause so we have quite a few events coming up for that so that's one of the ways we try to give back to the community and everything but it's really a lot more than just the in-studio stuff that yeah. we do we really try to do a lot more now if somebody wanted to have like say an on location in a winery or somewhere for a party do you guys do that oh yeah of we course. we will definitely travel um, and it's fun to travel because then it gets us outside of the box too. So we don't mind traveling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rates are very similar for us to travel and everything. The minimums are a little bit different. So yeah. like if we were to do a private class in the studio, it's an eight person minimum. But when you travel, it's 10. So it's, okay. it's not that it's much not different. Um, and we're and trying then, not to raise our prices. We're really trying not to. We're really trying. <laughs> and the only difference with the price is for travel. That's simply it. Yeah. And that's the only reason we do it because everybody understands what that is. <laughs> so now, do you guys still offer? Because think about you know, there's parents that can't get their kids out of the house. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they uh, you know they're too young and but they got older ones or somebody's homebound and they can't get out. Do you guys still do the the subscription packages? Do you still do the 
the painting, is there something that you could offer them? Yeah, we have a sister company, it's called Paint Subscription Box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and Abby and I actually partnered in that as well and started that company where people can go on and they can get a subscription. We also have different craft kits in there. Um, so people can go on and they can order one of our like one-time craft kits or they can order you know numerous paint kits or they can get it where it comes once a month or three times or you know every three times a year or quarterly or whatever so we have all that set up and um, that's something that her and I have developed over the past year we are always thinking and always talking and always changing. <laughs> I think that that's what has made you unique in some of the other ones uh, that have survived is you've had to think outside the box. I think that the digital age, um, you were doing TV shows with WCTV beforehand. I still am. And still are, uh, but now you've been able to expand, use that experience and expand out to do the painting classes online and, and offer that. I think that that is, you already had the website beforehand, so you guys just built upon everything right. that you already had. Um, going forward, as the as you said, keeping the prices where they they need to be. Have you had any issues getting supplies, like some of the so other businesses? We we haven't too bad. Um, and brushes were brushes brushes, brushes were, were really, really <laughs> yeah. I'm like we're where not are able to brushes? get our original brushes anymore. Yeah, so now we have to like find a new brand of brushes, and I'm like such a brush snob. <laughs> And that's been trying. We found some, but we're the big thing is longevity because we have so many people use our supplies every day. So, and that's something we teach during the classes too: is how to take care of supplies because we really have to make sure it lasts. There are tools, and there are friends. And we have to treat them nicely. Yes. <laughs> So if you ever see me go and put your brush inside your cup, it's only because I think I got to wash those later. <laughs> yes. Now, how is the brush tips in Florida doing? Oh, we're phenomenal. We're doing great down there. Um, you know, Abby has just been a huge support system down there, too, and, you know, vice versa. And, I mean, we're doing great down there. It's very, it's weird sometimes. Like, I'll be like, man, Abby... I'm so dead and she's like busy, busy, not busy. me <laughs> like and I'm watching all these classes come in I'm like dang girl you got class after class after class but then there's some days she's like oh my gosh I'm so dead this month and I'm like what I can't even reply to you I'm so busy so we haven't like fallen into a pattern of like who's busy and who's not we kind of get an idea um, we know September is always our worst month, so yes. we got that going. But, but the holidays, November, December, even this January, we were busy. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Because so. we sold a bunch of gift cards before the holidays, and everybody came in, was using them, and paying for other things. So yeah. my business has been So great. you offer gift cards? Is we it know. a specific amount? No. no. They could pick their amount. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we start at 25 because that's our base, but I mean, honestly, we, we go lower than that if you want. Now, do they just have to come in or can they do it online? Both. Mm -hmm. Both? Okay. Yeah, they can come in, they can do it online. It is a digital one, so it does get emailed to them, but I have a lot of people that come in and say, hey, we would like to this, and so I just fill it out right there and send it to them, and they love it. I okay. mean, we've both locations are definitely thriving, and and we get the same feedback from both locations is it's such a great place to be. And I'm not saying that like tooting my own horn. I'm just saying like That's the we've created we such a good ambiance for people and such a safe place. Like, and people see that and they recognize it. And you know, this, I tell people all the time, like this has nothing to do with me personally. It has nothing to do with Abby personally. This is our mission. This is our goal. This is, this is what we want to do is we want to create a world where people feel loved and encouraged and and if we can do that through one little piece of art then that's what we get to do if you could give advice to other small businesses with everything that you guys have been through what would you tell them <laughs> well i i would say definitely listen to other people yeah when they're giving you 
advice on even if you don't ask usually it's because they know from experience what to do what not to do um, and definitely pay attention to your neighbors um, yeah because and the trends the trends that's huge because that's why we're on social media it, it's not just to kill time because we don't have a lot of time to kill it's literally to keep an eye on what everybody's doing what are we interested in because what's going to capture your audience um, true and just stay up on um, the next thing you can kind of predict them what's going to be next like the poor painting thing was hot for a minute now resin is and they're very similar it's just slightly different because it's a different medium now what are the hot trends besides resin and pour right now wood is coming back into it, play it really is. <laughs> people want to paint on wood laser engraving laser is coming engraving. back again yep i know that which was really, that's our next goal yeah that's our next venture is to get oh a, that'd mm, be amazing get a nice laser cutter engraver because and that'll change the game with doing our boards and our resin classes because we can do custom orders now do you guys have you done pottery at all we paint on ceramics, mm -hmm. but we don't have a pottery wheel. So yeah, normally cow. during the holidays, we'll do like the big Christmas trees and mini or miniature, miniature ones and stuff. So, but those are more towards holidays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm like not a huge events. ceramic painter. Mm -hmm. I did that a lot when I was younger. I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are. My, um, I mean, I love yeah. ceramics. It was my minor in college, but at the same time, it's a lot. It's it's way more. Um, so we'd rather buy them and then you paint them. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot that goes into it, and kudos to anybody who does because I that would be awesome. But it's a lot, and it's I lot. already have my hand in a lot of jars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you do commission paintings, um, drawings of animals. Yes, I do. So um, I commissions turn back on here in July, uh, and then they will continue through the holidays. I usually turn them off again then the week before Christmas. Sometimes I'll post and be like, hey, I can take a couple more, depending <laughs> on what's going on. But my commissions during the holidays are the busiest time of the year, just because a lot of people give them for gifts for the holidays. Um, I'll, but along with the pet portraits, I do help a lot of the businesses locally and even outside of just Medina County uh, with any kind of graphic design, any marketing, all of that. And stuff. you're on the board of oh, now. Yeah. The that, so that's still <laughs> new. It's hard for me to bring that up because it's not during my normal spiel anymore. Uh, I haven't added it. So <laughs> I'm on the Medina County board. Uh, Medina County Arts Council Board. There we are. Yes. That is awesome. I know. Yeah. Isn't it that great? Really she was awesome. so nervous, yeah. but I was like, go. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I don't know if I have time for this, to do this and everything. Because uh, I do here. We just launched our paint box. Mm -hmm. We just planning on moving. And that was right around the time we were talking about mm -hmm. it and really planning it. And I'm like, I don't know. But it it's great. I love it. It's Sometimes really helps. Sometimes it's not about other people it's about helping us grow too yeah it was it was for stepping outside of our, our comfort, comfort zone, zone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i think you guys have done amazing and what is the current address of your new location well it's definitely not 138 no it's not it's 139 <laughs> college street and obviously Rockford. i've been telling everyone it's <laughs> It is 139 College Street in Wadsworth, um, and it's already tagged on all of our stuff. We've already changed it all over, so. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful space. I thank you guys so much for sitting down with me and doing a chat. I was excited to come in and see this space. It's absolutely beautiful. You guys do a lot with the community, and that's one of the things that I absolutely love. You're active on social media. I know a lot of other businesses don't see the point or they just don't have time but you do catch a lot of people you've helped a lot of kids during covid i really think what you guys did helped show other businesses what they could do and it really helped out a lot of families i am very excited to see where you guys go from here and especially to watch uh florida so if you guys go down to florida yes and we've had people yes yeah we have 
We've had people that, that come amazing. down there and I'm like, oh my gosh, what do you mean you're from Wadsworth? <laughs> or they come down there and they're like, we're from Ohio. And then they see do the they Wadsworth stay with thing. You? No. <laughs> <laughs> they come down and I've had people, like a lady in Tarpon Springs, she grew up in Wadsworth and she comes up here like for a week every year and she's like we're gonna go to the studio there with all my friends i'm like thank you and uh, so she went and liked it but it was great well we thank you yeah for, thank you for Coming taking in. the time yeah mm -hmm. we're grateful it's very important to go ahead and showcase all the small businesses what you guys do behind the scenes because it is a lot more than just going ahead and, and running a business there's a like you said you guys do a lot behind the scenes especially putting back into the communities. I urge anybody that um, is looking for something to do with your family, your friends, even if you can't get out of your house, they offer many things that can go ahead and help you. Just remember when you help out a small business, not only you're helping keeping them open, you're allowing that small business to go ahead and put back into the community. If you can imagine um, not being able to help out the juvenile center, if you can imagine all, all the free things that they have done with people that don't exist, the schools wouldn't have. So when you go ahead and you shop local, you go full circle and put back into the community. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, have a great day. watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.